these are honeybees. We have an important relationship with these insects that goes back thousands of years. I keep honeybees, as do many people around the world, and we know that the Egyptians and ancient Greeks also kept bees. Honey has been part of the human diet for thousands of years. We also know that honeybees do much more than produce honey. When collecting nectar, bees also carry tiny grains of pollen from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another. This is pollination, a process that shares genes among a species of plants and ensures the production of seeds. Pollination is a more valuable service than honey production. Apples, pumpkins, and almonds are examples of foods that require insect pollination. A honeybee colony contains tens of thousands of bees. Most of them are workers. The workers are female, but they are unable to lay fertile eggs. Only the queen, a fully developed female bee, is able to lay fertile eggs, eggs that will develop into adult bees. This frame of comb is covered with workers. The very large bee is the queen. The colony only has one queen, but during the summer she lays thousands of eggs each day. The drones are larger than the workers. Can you see the drone on this frame? Watch the queen closely. You will see her lay an egg. She is looking for a clean cell. When she finds one, she lowers her abdomen into the cell and deposits an egg. Honeybees are insects, and like most insects, their life cycle begins with an egg and progresses through a larva stage to a pupa and then the adult. For a worker bee, this process takes about 21 days. This egg will take three days to hatch into a tiny larva. Fed by nurse bees, the larva grows rapidly for another six days, filling the cell. On the ninth day, workers put a wax cap on top of the cell and the larva becomes a pupa. During the next eight days, body segments, the antenna, eyes and legs become visible. You can see them on this pupa. 21 days after the egg was laid, a fully formed adult bee emerges from the cell. Beekeepers must recognize and understand the various stages of the life cycle of honeybees. The pattern and appearance of eggs, larvae, and sealed pupa provide clues to the health of the queen and colony. I am opening a beehive so that I can inspect a brood frame. Brood frames contain eggs, larvae, and pupa. I'm using a smoker to control the bees' alarm pheromones. If the colony is attacked, Guard bees release a chemical from special glands on their abdomen. This chemical is called a pheromone, and it alerts the whole colony to the attack. Smoke disguises the pheromone, and the bees remain calm.
We have some nice fresh honey on this frame and uh, lots of bees. The dark brown caps actually contain pupa in behind. They will eventually hatch out into adult bees. The honey is in this area right here. This, this capped material we're looking at right there is honey. Here you can see some very nice pure honey. The six-sided hexagonal cells of honeycomb are constructed from wax. The bees secrete this wax from special glands on their bodies. Inspecting this brood frame closely, we can see eggs in some of the cells and white larvae in others. These eggs and larvae will become adult workers. They are developing in normal sized cells. Drones or male bees are larger than the workers. The queen lays drone eggs in special large cells. They are easily distinguished from worker cells. This is a sealed drone cell. I'll remove the cap so we can inspect the pupa. As you can see, this pupa is developing eyes, antenna, tongue, and legs. This table summarizes the life cycle of the honeybee, Apis mellifera. Life cycle information for a worker honeybee shows that she spends three days as an egg, six days as a larva, 12 days as a pupa, and then emerges as an adult 21 days after the egg was laid. The life cycle of the honeybee is similar to many insects, including butterflies, moths, and wasps. Scientists call this cycle complete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis has four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Some insects, like the praying mantis, do not have a larva stage. The eggs hatch into miniature adults. Scientists call this type of life cycle incomplete metamorphosis. If you study the insects in your community, you will discover that each one has a unique and remarkable life cycle. Like honeybees, moths and butterflies undergo complete metamorphosis. The larva stage of these insects are often dramatic and beautiful caterpillars. Some insects have bizarre larva stages. This strange creature is the larva stage of a flower fly, a fly that mimics wasps and bees. Studying the life cycles, habitat, and behavior of insects can be an interesting career or hobby. Scientists who study insects are called entomologists. If you are interested in learning more about entomology, go to our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the insects link.